Hey guys, it's Junicorn from Pressure, uh, Jeffrey from Pressure Luck. Although I am a Junicorn today, now it's Hanukkah. Chanukah, Chanukah? There's a million ways to spell Hanukkah, just as there are a million ways to make the most amazing thing, the thing that Hanukkah is most known for, latkes. What are latkes? Well, latkes are potatoes that are basically turned into like a pancake form, almost like a hash brown, but so much better than that. Now, a year ago, I was on the Food Network's first ever Ultimate Hanukkah Challenge. It was one of the most amazing and rewarding experiences of my life, but on the show, of course, in Food Network competition fashion, they made us make a latke where we couldn't use potatoes as the dominant ingredient. I did like a carrot curry latke with a sriracha mayo to dip in to give it like a sweet and cool. So to balance some sweet and spicy with each other. But here we're going old school. I'm able to use potatoes. I have no timer on me. I have no prize up for grabs. That's fine. I'm gonna show you how to make traditional Jewish latkes, which in my opinion, these are the best way to make them. And guess what guys? I'm not using the Instant Pot for this. You don't need to. You can't really fry in there anyway, but it couldn't be easier to make. It's very simple. You'll have these latkes done from the moment you start grating those potatoes to the time you crisp it into your mouth in no more than 30 minutes. So let's go right to uh, the frying pan and make some of the most amazing latkes ever on Hanukkah. Shalom! All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to take two and a half pounds of russet or baking potatoes a small yellow onion, and one strand of a scallion. And I've peeled my potatoes, and I've just taken the skins and the ends off my onion, and I've sliced up my scallions. Now let's move on to the grater, or as I like to call it, the knuckle slicer. All right, so now let's take a mixing bowl, and in that mixing bowl, lay in some paper towels. And then take the grater and the potato and grate them. Use the thick side of the grater so you get some nice coarse pieces of potato. Now some people don't grate their potatoes, but I'm telling you right now for the best kind of latke, you want to grate them. And it's well worth ripping your knuckles open on, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, and there's my potato all nice and grated in the bowl on the paper towel. And now the next step is about squeezing all the water out of those potatoes. That's a must. Now take your paper towels here, and I want you to really wrap everything up, and I want you to squeeze, 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 so all of the water comes out as best as possible here. You could use some cheesecloth for this as well if you'd prefer. Just really get all of the water out of there. Double wrapping in paper towels also helps. All right, and once you've really squeezed everything, you're going to see there's some liquid left in there. Good. We'll come back to that in a second. Just put that aside. Don't do anything with it yet. All right, now empty your potatoes into a bowl. Your nice and squeezed potatoes. Make sure any of the paper towel isn't in there with it. <laughs> Just get them off as best as possible. It's going to be really soggy, that paper towel at this point. Really putting it up to the test. All right, we're looking good here. This looks great. It doesn't have to be obviously like astronaut ice cream dry. It just needs to be you know, not to the point where it's soaking wet anymore. This is perfect. And out of the bowl, let's take our grater again and then take that onion and grate that in there too. All right, perfect. All right, now you remember all of the juices that came out of our potatoes when we squeezed them? Underneath, you're gonna see this amazing starchiness. We are going to save that. Get rid of the water, but save that. Perfect. This is a magical element to help making your latkes bind together. So I'm going to add this to my shredded potatoes and my grated onion, as well as one teaspoon each of kosher salt, seasoned salt, and black pepper, as well as two teaspoons of baking powder, not the same as baking soda, baking powder, and I use a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger. A key element to making the best latkes is to use this stuff called matzo meal. It is not the same thing as matzo ball mix. You don't get them confused. Matzo meal. You can find them in a lot of markets in like the international or the Jewish section. Just, you know, ask them if they have it. If not, you can get it online. I want to add a quarter of a cup. Now I want to take two large eggs, crack them in a bowl, and beat them up. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to add that into our mixture here. I'm also going to toss in my scallions. And by the way, if you want to put some pastrami meat in there, by all means, do it at this point. Add in about a quarter of a pound or so of some thinly sliced pastrami and just cut it up into little pieces and put it in. And now we're going to get a little messy. We're going to put our hands that are nice and clean inside the bowl and mix everything up until everything is nice and combined. 
Okay, and there we have it. Everything should be kind of stuck together ever so slightly, and it's gonna bind really well when we fry. Speaking of which, let's now go and heat our oil up on the stove. All right, so you wanna get one of these nice, big, round, deep skillets. You see like with the little walls on the side here, and some vegetable oil. I prefer vegetable oil for frying latkes. Oh, you see that? The Costco, the Kirkland, you gotta love that. And I wanna fill up the entire bottom of the pot in about an eighth of an inch or so high of oil, all right? Enough to make them really get fried. And I wanna make sure the heat is on like a medium high. Make sure that oil is hot. It must be fully hot before we begin to fry. We're talking like 365 degrees here, folks. If you put the laka mixture in there before it's heated, it's gonna be very sad. We don't want it to be sad. And you just grated all those potatoes and the onion. We don't want it to have been for nothing, all right? Wait a little bit, just 365 until it gets nice and hot. Now while the oil is heating up, a quick lesson for you, a history lesson if you will. Uh, the whole purpose of frying latkes in oil is because of the miracle of Hanukkah. The way it worked out were these soldiers called the Maccabees, these Jewish soldiers and stuff. They uh, went to the synagogue and they lit the flame that was supposed to just last one night to keep them all warm and cozy. However, it didn't just last one night. No, 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 it lasted eight nights. That's eight, right? Yeah, eight nights. Hence the reason of Hanukkah and why we have the eight nights and the menorah and the candles and the oil for the lakas. Fry fest. Okay, a good way to now see if your oil is heated is to take a thermometer here, like a meat thermometer or a candy thermometer, put it in the oil, don't have it touch the bottom of the pot, and see if it's going to read up to 365 degrees, which it's past that already. We're at 380 here, do you see that? So we're good, we're ready to fry. That took about five minutes. If you don't have one of those thermometers, simply take a little bit of the batter here and then just drop it in and see if, see that? We're ready. All right, so what I wanna do here is I wanna take a quarter of a cup of the filling from out of my bowl and then just plop it inside and then just flatten it out a little bit. And I should be able to get about a bunch of lockets in here at once. You see how these are binding perfectly? Look at this, they're binding so well. And we wanna fry on each side for about one and a half to two minutes. And of course, start flipping with the first one you put in. And do you see that? Perfect, perfect. It's bound together perfectly. This is gonna be a really crispy latke. Mmm, it's almost like a Jewish hash brown. All right, and after about another two minutes on the other side, here's what we have, guys. A gorgeous, gorgeous latke. All right, I'm gonna take my latkes out. I'm gonna put them on a paper towel lined plate. Make sure that paper towel's on there to soak up all of that Maccabee juice. All right, and there is my first batch. All six beautiful latkes. Now I'm gonna just do the rest for my remaining batch. I should really be able to get all my latkes done in two batches in a nice big pan like this. All right, round two. Make sure you flatten them out a little bit. There you go. So really, that's another six latkes in there. So one whole batch is gonna make about 12 latkes. Perfect. So by the way, once you've gotten to like that 365 or past it in terms of temperature, just make sure you're on like a medium high heat. Don't go any higher than medium high. You don't want to burn them either. Okay, and these bad boys are done. Just look at that beautiful Jewish potato latke. I'm gonna throw that onto my plate again. Another one that's gonna be nice and uh, paper towel lined to keep it grease-free. There's enough Maccabee juice in the latke as it is. And voila, that's 12 latkes. See that? Six and six, 12. The one on the left are a little more well done for those who like it extra crispy, and the one on the right, a little less so. That way you have some options. Love it. And look at that color. Maybe I'll mix them up. It'll make a nice bouquet of like Jewish color. All right, crispy Jewish color. Now it's time to try them out. And there are my beautiful latkes. Look at that. I alternated between the extra crispy and the regular crispy, and it wouldn't be complete, guys, unless you had some applesauce and some sour cream. Some people like to dip it in either or, some like both, some like neither. It doesn't make a difference. You don't have to use the sauce. You can use any dipping sauce you like, but that's typically the tradition. And now, let's try one of these bad boys out. All right, guys, let's try a laka out. I'm using the applesauce. I like the applesauce for it. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. I need a moment. Now, I like my latkes crispy on the outside and soft and chewy on the inside. And that is exactly what you are getting here. The flavor is so seasoned, it's so delicious. 
with just the right amount of salt and pepper and that little hint of ginger in there. It's amazing. Mm. If I was a Maccabee and I found all that oil burning, I would have like ransacked the go the potatoes and I would have been fine. I would have been completely fine. Alakas every day? Yes, please. Mm. I'm gonna have another one. I mean the texture. The texture is spot on. And like I said, if you want them crispier, you simply let them cook even longer, and then that's what's gonna happen. The more that they sit in the oil and fry up in there, the more crispy they're gonna get, and not only on the outside, but it's gonna merge into the middle as well. But I like it nice and soft in the middle and really crispy on the outside. That's how I do my laka. It's better than any hash brown you'll have. It's better than any potato chip you'll have. It's just the best potato thing in the entire world. Hey, Richard. Richard, come over here, try a laka. All right, here's your laka, and uh, what do you think? Mm. Do you enjoy it? Okay, that's all I need it's to It's very good. It's, it's very good and soft in the middle. Crispy on the outside. <laughs> all right, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. The most amazing laka is done so easily. Really very simple. I didn't even shred my fingers like I did when I was on the Food Network. That, that was good. Although I was braiding carrots instead of potatoes. Um, so that helps. It's a lot easier to braid a potato than a carrot. It's a lot thicker in the hand. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed these videos, check out PressureLoveCooking.com because I have a ton of recipes there, each and every one with a video like this one. I have a cookbook that I wrote, the Step-by-Step -step Instant Pot Cookbook. Even though this is not an Instant Pot recipe, uh, you're gonna wanna have this book, believe me. It's beautiful, step-by-step -step photos that are in full color for every single recipe, as well as a final shot. No guessing on what your food's gonna look like and no guessing on the timing. I tell you every step of the way how long it'll take. Uh, check out Facebook.com slash PressureLoveCooking and like that page. Anytime a new recipe comes out, deals and item tips, humor, things like that. And at Pressure Love Cooking on YouTube, where all these videos live, subscribe there. Uh, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks again, guys. And when you serve these latkes to someone, I'm guaranteeing you they're going to latke them a lot. A lot. Enjoy. Mm. Mm.